Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Isis and today I am going to share you my experience because one more thing what I do in life is I bartend. I shake, I pour, I put love, I put passion and everything the best what I have in my heart in a drink and serve people, serve you. As this corona situation happened, I lost two of my jobs and the only bar that I have is this one at home. It's fancy, it's full of everything I need and I can show you the best cocktails from my experience. It's not only cocktails at home today, especially it's kombucha cocktails. I'm having this amazing GT's kombucha in my hands. They have a variety of different amazing tastes. I still didn't taste all of them because when I go to different shop I still find some different taste and then I buy and then I taste <laughs> I don't know when it will finish I hope never because I, I hope they will come out with new amazing taste all the time so I'm having this kombucha in my hands and I love this product I love kombucha very much and I was thinking let's do some cocktails with kombucha I went to GT's page website on the internet and to my surprise, I found a mixology section where they have all the amazing cocktail recipes. I scanned through all of them and I decided that I want to share with you gin cocktails today. So I found a couple of recipes on their website and I have a lot of recipes in my heart and in my head. I'll be making three amazing cocktails today. One, I'll be recreating based on the web, on the website that I found and ours will be I will be making twists on the cocktails I already was making every day when I was having a job. As I mentioned today we are going to have gin and kombucha cocktails. I'm having this amazing Amas gin from Los Angeles in my hands and this gin is really magnificent. It has a lot of ingredients, spices, herbs, mushrooms and many many things inside. It smells amazing and it tastes magnificent. I'm going to mix these two drinks, add something else and have an amazing cocktail for you to share. Enough of talking, let's go to this first recipe today. It's called Lemonade Lemon Squeeze and this cocktail is based on the cocktail that I found in GT Living Foods Fast. What we will need? It's a glass, like a rock glass, like, a, like this kind of glass. I mean, it's not really a big difference as long as you are using a glass that you really love and the size of glass is appropriate. We will need gin, we will need Lemonade Taste GT's Kombucha also, we will need agave. Lemon for garnish and rosemary for garnish as well. We are going to pour everything in the glass. No shaking, no any difficult stuff for the first time. And later, we will have more difficult cocktails to make. We are going to take one and a half ounce of amazing Amas gin. We are going to use like one, two thirds to one ounce of agave. Now I like to mix everything before putting guys and pouring kombucha and mix them one more time. And of course, very important ingredient, we need ice. Sometimes people think that ice is just an ice, but ice actually is one of the most important cocktail ingredients. Full glass. Now we are going to pour around 3 ounces of this amazing GTSK Lemonade Kombucha. I'm mixing it gently because if I shake it, I will have a champagne shower. And one more gentle stir and garnish. Rosemary. very full <laughs> and looks very very tasty first sip oh all right very refreshing very lemony very tasty uh, like 
It reminds me like a Moscow Mule kind of twist. Uh, very, very good summer drink. Then you lay on the beach. Now we all can just have a dream of that. <laughs> but one day it will come and we all will be able to go on the beach and finally enjoy. So guys, cheers and enjoy your life. The second cocktail today, it's a twist on gin tonic. It's a classic gin cocktail that everybody knows. I hope everybody knows because this cocktail is essential to know for all the bartenders and all bar patrons. <laughs> it's very easy and I called it sacred gin tonic because I'll be using this amazingly nice blue sacred life limited 25 years edition kombucha. It looks nice, it really tastes very good, very, not just good, it tastes magnificent, amazing. It's like herbs, like a little bitter, like uh, it's difficult to describe all the taste that you get from this blue one. When I first tasted it, I really fall in love with the one. I think this is my favorite. I believe that with this amazing gin, it will pair just like Romeo and Juliet. Totally mind blowing. One and a half ounce of gin. Now we're going to put full glass of ice. Fill the glass with this amazingly beautiful blue kombucha. Mm. I know you can't smell, but if you could. Look, the color. It's like an ocean and I really miss the ocean so much. I live in Miami Beach, really close to the ocean. It's like 10 or 15 minutes on walking. It's really close, but I can't go now, so I really miss But I have this amazing cocktail for me to remind the ocean and the good times and uh, those times, you know. Sometimes it sounds like the times before. <laughs> okay, now put some garnish. I believe that yellow lemon and blue drink pairs very nice also a spring of rosemary and i love orange with gin tonic very very much so i'll use just the skin i'll aromatize the cocktail the glass the rim i have in mind and put it beside my sacred kombucha gin tonic to remind you the good times in the ocean. Cheers, guys! Mm. I think this is my new favorite gin tonic because honestly, I didn't try it before. It's my experiment because that's why I call it experimental kitchen. The third cocktail today is a twist on a classical gin twist. For that, we will need, of course, our amazing Amas gin, agave, lemon, fresh one, and of course, our the magnificent ingredient, GT's kombucha. For this cocktail, I will use rosé berry one. It actually consists of strawberry juice, passion fruit puree, vanilla extract. Actually, it will be a really, really amazing twist on this cocktail. I'm really impatient to try it. And we will need a shaker. This time we are going to shake our shaker and ass. Move a little bit because as a bartender, you do a lot of exercise. Shaking all your body. All right, guys. It's not about dancing lessons now, it's about coffee lessons. We are going to take our shaker. gin, one ounce of agave syrup and one ounce 
of fresh lemon juice. And now we are going to shake our shaken body and ass everything. Are you ready? I forgot. We also going to use some chickpea water, aqua faba, because I believe that if you are not rocky, you don't really need to consume raw eggs. Around two thirds to one ounce of chickpea water. Yeah, we should shake the cocktail to. I believe that you transform your energy into the drink, and customer can feel that. And now, this is the moment. Kombucha, some garnish. Cheers, my friends. This amazing gin fizz made with kombucha. First sip. Mm -hmm. I believe that this cocktail can get any woman in bed definitely guys guys if you like this video if you learn something new or if you just enjoy watching it please like subscribe hit the button i really want more subscribers and you could help me and i will be very grateful for you comment which gt's kombucha you like the most and please share it with your friends if you think that it's a very good cocktail for your friends and I will see you in the next videos and we will make more beautiful, amazing, magnificent coffee.